going on right now. Got it. Okay, listen. Got it. Got it. No, you gotta test it out. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware that the meeting was starting at 8 p.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. Damn, this is crazy, ain't he? Yes, <laughs> sir. Hey, okay. We always love some good intro music, you know? We always love some good intro music, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome into another video. Today, we, uh, we, we chilling, we relaxing. We uh we were diving into uh, trigger happy havoc, and I'm always going to slaughter the next part. Uh, Dan Ganrompa. Uh, so please don't judge me on that. Um, I am a first time player. Uh, I've never played this game before. I have seen some gameplay around it um, that has sparked my interest, which is why we're here to play it, right? Yeah! We love every type of game out there, so I just love being able to dive into it. And this is the great thing about this is this is a game that dropped on Xbox Game Pass in the celebration of the 10 year anniversary of this series, right? So it dropped on Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass. And y'all know I fucking love Xbox. Y'all know I love Xbox Game Pass. Microsoft, Phil Spencer, do you hear me? I love you. I love all of y'all. Let's work together one, one of these days. Let's work together, all right? Um, but uh, yes, we're going to be jumping to this game today. As always, please make sure you are attacking and clawing away at that like button for us. Make sure that you, if you're new here, you're spamming that sub button and hitting that bell so that you can be alerted. Join the community and be alerted whenever we post new videos. And as always, in the comment section, if you have any ideas and suggestions of what you want to see here created, let me know. I will do it, I promise. I ain't like some other people who say they're going to do it, they ain't going to do it. I might take a while to get to it, but we're going to do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. But without further ado, let's jump into our game, y'all. Let's, let's immerse, y'all. If y'all don't have a snack, get a snack. I have mine. Cheese it. Get a snack, get some water, get something to drink. Let's go. Starting with the music already. Like why the why the musical score so fire already? That's crazy. I'm gonna turn this down just in case it's too loud. It's in the green section, but I don't want it overpowering me too much. I just don't understand. Like I feel like I'm gonna be dancing the entire video long. I feel I I just feel like that. Those of you who have played and seen and or watched this series in its, tired, in, in its entirety, do y'all think I'm going to be dancing the whole time? Because I think I am. I think I am. So far, they, they hit us with two bangers. So far. And them the only two first, them the only two songs we've heard. Oh, okay. Skeleton. With Michael Jackson. Chat in the closet. Mm. Mm -mm 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 Eight. You're not ready for that. You're not ready. Here we go. Song number three, and it's a banger again. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 hey. Mm -hmm. hey. We ain't gonna be able to get nothing done if the song's like this. Um, the massive high school towers, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. That's strange, because that's not usually how that works. <clears throat> Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from around, uh, from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say, that uh, they say that if you come here 
and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends, a, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes hopes, uh, makes hopes peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to uh, uh, you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Right, so you got to be top of your class. Okay, okay, okay. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. Okay, so like basketball, they're scouting people out. Okay, okay, okay. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students. Is who? Is whom? Was me? Okay. Before we go any farther, Makoto Nagi. My name's Makoto Naegi. Naegi. Okay, there we go. I'm glad they have like tech, like talking, because if I had to read everything, I would probably lose my fucking mind. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. We don't know. No, we don't judge books by their covers around here. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't. Should I do a voice for him? Yeah, I think I will. I really don't. I really don't have much going for my uh, for me. When it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychopath, psych uh, <laughs> a psychic, or a mutant, or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Even among the average, I'm completely average. <laughs> so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point to speak of, I'd say I'm a little more, I'm a little more gung ho than more other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation. Did last uh, about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. You gonna talk to us? Anonymous. Okay, so we in a uh, we in a uh, 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 a social lobby. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are trends online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So I prepare, I look up some of those trends, those threads, and all I see was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one inc incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's the lead singer for a group, uh, pop group famous all over the country. Okay, K-pop. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro team already have their eyes on him. Then, there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. All right, we gotta have a badass as always. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate bike gang leader too. The scary thing is, He's the de, de facto leader of every biker gang in ja Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, 
there's the ultimate martial arts artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimmer, swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate uh, clairv clairvoyant, and then some. Reading, <laughs> reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who could, who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about these other, those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much, uh, have much in the way of my of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Okay. Mr. Makoto Naegi, we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our high school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled they spelled it out plain as day. Oh, we're back to uh, our character. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited. Pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I mean, who would? Who would? But then, actually standing there in front of the school... I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down to the acceptance letter, excuse me, clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for quite a while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I had done this a million times before. And I took my first steps towards the main hall. Woo, a lot of reading, y'all. I'm winded. Woo. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over there in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8, so there's still full, a full 50 minutes left. Good math, good math. It makes sense nobody would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I bet they all in the, uh, in the room already. I have, uh, <laughs> I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just sticking, uh, just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there's pro there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. I mean, talking to yourself seems to be doing that just fine. Trying to play it cool. I took a step. I took my first step into Hope Peaks Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at uh, at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Woo wee! What the? But the instant I I I took that first step, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else, spinning, mixing melting away, then spinning again. And then the next moment, 
everything went black. That was how it all began and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I was the ultimate luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to Despair. Prologue. Okay. That's some kind of a... Uh, that's some kind of intro right there. They like, buddy, get this, get this reading in here. Get this reading. Here you go. Hmm? What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? I'm wondering if I'm going to be reading the entire time or... Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press A. And presto, you will investigate the object. Use the right stick to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the class? Okay. 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 Here we go. Let's let's investigate. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean up to clean that up after. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is there some? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Am I looking at that? Oh no, we already looked at that. Okay. That kind of confused me. It was like highlighting like I was supposed to be. Okay, we got a camera here. Is that a surveillance camera? It's dangerous. It's, it's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep those weirdos uh, from wandering in. Jeez! I can't believe it's 8 o'clock already. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really almost been an hour since then? There's a TV. This school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Did we look at that? Yeah, we looked at that already. Let's see, what else? This? Okay, what's this? What the heck? Is any normal is any any normal classroom that's where a window should be? But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up. I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this class this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then, but then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to tell when I'm not speaking. You can leave the classroom by pressing B. Okay, perfect. 
Leave this area? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Jeez! This hallway is actually is, is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down, uh, hold down B while moving to run. You can also press Y to bring up the map. Press Y again to close the map. How convenient. But that's not in every game. <laughs> I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. You don't want to open it? Okay. Okay. Music, okay, okay. The AV room, it's locked. Obviously we can't go here. The school store. I guess it's not open. It says keep out. I think it would have like a close sign on it if that's right. Bathroom look like the boys' bathroom. Good thing I don't have to go. The gym. The gym. The handle didn't move at all. We have to be able to go in here, right? By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, okay. hey! Another new kid? Ooh. Reading. Thank you for reading huh? this. Yes. Then you guys are Ooh, all... Break! Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. I know this guy in the front ain't oh, to the left there. Mr. Baki the Grappler with long hair. I know he is not a fucking student. You can't. You, boy, you look 50 at least. So counting him. Can't be. Or is that the martial 15. artist? Seems he can't like be. Like everybody else points, in here looks like a kid. He's he, he, he looking a little bit old. The, the, the biker gang guy, he looking kind of like, like he like just exiting the age. This guy with the purple hair and the red eyes, he's looking like he's at that age. Of adulthood, but definitely. Oh, the guy in the back too. It's a few of y'all that shouldn't be in here. What? Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, uh, taking in their faces one at a time. One at a time. Maybe I was just trying. Uh, maybe I was just imagining it. But I swear, I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened. And then all of a sudden I was just huh? asleep. Hmm, you too? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange. I declare I'm not gonna be able to do voices for everybody, but we gonna see. We we see. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um What are you talking about? Oh no, wait, that's me. Um What are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right Got now. It. Got it! Okay, let's see. Got it! Got it! No, you gotta test it out. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware that the meeting was starting at 8 p.m. sharp! To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment! Damn, this is crazy, ain't he? What? What's your problem? Sorry, 
I gotta get in character. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over That's it. That's right. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen. Why don't we all just go? Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' instructions. <laughs> maybe. No. Maybe. Maybe. But it may be good to at least find out who we are, who we all are, before digging into bigger situations, bigger problems here. Y'all know what I'm about to do? Give me a second. Give me a second. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's name? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's introduce our, let's, let's get introductions out of the way. Maybe we can move on to another, to uh, move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think, don't, don't, peep the, peep, peep the voice change. I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to uh to know each other uh for now so i guess this is as good as a chance as i'm gonna get i already looked every uh looked everyone up on that hopes peak academy thread online but i still don't know what kind of people they are actually are time to find out i'll start i'll start by ta talking to those five over there Aim at a student and press the A button to want to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall uh, story, so keep track of how they are. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe Kiyotaka. in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Nice. Kiyotaka. Ishimaru. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. That's why. That's why he was tripping about the damn uh, punctual uh, punctualness of me being tardy. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public uh, morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naigi, right? That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. Facts. Facts. Toku. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Of course she's shy. Of course. Of course she's shy. Fukawa. Toko Toko Fukawa. I'm definitely gonna have a hard time remembering all these names. Ultimate right. Yeah, she wrote yeah. She wrote a novel when she was ten that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Wow. Then two years ago. She released So Little, uh, So Lingers, The Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that um, that fisherman quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. 
which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young talented author? But I figured, but I figured she's be uh, she'd be a love lovey dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all? Now those uh, those people who be like like writing like that, they like they have personalities like her. They be all real good and skilled and stuff, and like you meet them and they the opposite of what they write about. <laughs> What's your problem? What? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me! Like I'm some filthy creature! Filthy creature? No, I just thought. <laughs> I know what you just thought. You thought you've ne never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought. It was so funny! No, no! That's not what I was thinking at all! I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway... What? Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferior <laughs> inferiority co complex. I was way off about a successful author would be would be like. Of course, bro. Of course. Holy cow! What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then. Oh. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Sayaka Maizono. We got Toko, uh, Saya, Sayaka, and what was the, I forgot the other guy's name already. I'm, I'm horrible with names, this is too many. Ultimate pop. Oh, this is the pop sensation girl. Okay. The way she moves is uh, positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant sense, I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread uh, online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She, uh, she's in a pop group famous across uh, all across the country. In fact, She's their lead singer. Dang! It's the ultimate pop sensation. She's uh, she's in high demand to appear on TV, mag and TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only person. Th that's not the only reason why I was surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll. You know, I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Of course. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did- Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Um. Sorry, I just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bobbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Or will you? 
or will you? Like she said, we can talk later. Oh, oh boy, I'm already sweating. I'm switching in between these voices. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? What's good, bro? What's good? Ultimate baseball star. Okay, so this is the ultimate baseball star. These people look grown as hell to be in, in high school. I recognize that man. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured you uh, I figured you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What were you expecting? Some kind of uh, uh some kind of kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No. I was just expecting more of uh you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked at it. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championships regulations. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna diet back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Goddamn, really. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced? And he still was his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star qu uh, quality or I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like... Super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd be I'd hear something like that from a baseball star. Woo! I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World, world of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and sup uh, supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanatic fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of, of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. How stupid could you be? That's too bad to, about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly, unappro un utterly unappreciative, unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconcep preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyagi, 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 you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. 
It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now to talk to the five people over there. Ayo. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends Aoi? just call me Hina. Aoi? What's up? Swimming pro, okay. Ai Ashina. She's been breaking records ever uh, in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympi uh, Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. So, uh... So, uh... What was your name again? Sorry. Totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure. Got it. Here. I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like some uh, like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you just got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly as it sounds. Hmm. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Haha. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer, we love to see it. We fucking love to see it. Sorry, I I got in kind of embarrassed whenever I have to introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination. But have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chi -chi uh, Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that, uh, got that timid little bunny type thing going which has endeared her to her legions um, of fans. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for? We can probably do Makoto still. Huh? What are you apologizing um, for? Well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No? Not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, I had nothing to do. It had nothing to do uh, with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. You gonna say something? Hmm? Um... Can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. Ultimate, we don't even know what her ultimate name is. Okay. She doesn't talk much. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? 
Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identities or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? That's supposed to mean. No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to mm. tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she could. She got picked uh, by chance like me. But... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Nice. Charmed, I'm sure. Anybody will recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to uh, to reality, huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edit it to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all totally. depressed. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> He's sad, man. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Ooh, okay, buddy. All right. Mondo Awada, which means who's the current leader? Why am I trying to talk and I'm eating? Stupid! He's the current leader of the biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate banker guy. Bank, ultimate biker leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah! I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four over there are the only ones left. Perfect. Sakura. I am Sakura Ogami. Oh damn, I'm sorry. I apologize. I said guy earlier. It's a woman. I am Sakura Ogami, Ogami. Oh jeez, almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I saw something like that, the day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist, She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Damn! Makoto... Oh, that's, that's me. That's me. Huh? That thread also said a bit about her. A bit more about her. Some called her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The famed missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life 
avoid her at all cost. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about hey. that. Hey, you! Huh? Y yes I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and probe at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. There ain't nobody trying to fight you. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to fight you, I promise. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byaku Byakuya Togami. I like that name because my favorite one of my one of my favorite characters from uh, Bleach. Byakuya. Love it! Hi. Um nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuga, Byakuya Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluence, uh, progeny, is completed accurate. It's completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that uh, from that Hope's Peak Academy thread. Online. Come on, we're done with uh, we're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away! I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, "You and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training." I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure, hero for short. Take it easy, yeah. say that hero. I know I will. They're buoyant. Known as Supernova and Psychic Community. That's why his hair like that. I'm like, why his hair look like he's shocked? <laughs> he looked like he's shocked. The trend setting, ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wonder. I still can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah. Okay, I give up. Hmm. What happened? Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with the crazy perm chasing, <laughs> chasing after Bigfoot running off with a ski fish in its mouth. Damn, that's crazy. That's a lot of just random shit that's all in one. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Hey, but, but hey, we should grab some brewskis. Oh, he says brewskis. Sometimes, sometimes get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high no. school. Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? You look older than 21, honestly. And see, and well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah. I bet that is a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. Celestia Ludenberg. <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you just uh, for you to call me Celeste. Um, are you Japanese? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But uh, as I mentioned. I would re much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. 
Other than her previous love of gothic uh, loti, Lalita took clothes. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground tournament, earning the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleans out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all awesome, they each have their own individual sort of hmm. something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem. Excuse me. Or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see. Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened. And then you were just asleep, right? Well, it's the same. The same is true for us all. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after... Each of us got to the main hall. We lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but, that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. And then, there's that main hall over there. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant what metal hatch. Mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got what here. Heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. Maybe we just got caught up in some, some kind of, like you, no, crime or something. Is it like... What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation process. You know? Yeah. I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a bit. I see. Oh. So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night. So I could uh, use some shut-eye. I could feel everyone's temper, uh, tension evaporating. But then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, who is this? Ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check okay. one, two. This is a test All right, of the mic check broadcast one. system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? I sure okay, can. Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful. So completely unconcerned, I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at uh, right now. Right now, Please make okay. your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I'm just trying to figure out who this character is. 
What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you will excuse me. Hey! hey! What? You're gonna take off just Could like that? Be? Oh, yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was a, all a joke. I totally freaked out if this you was know? real. Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they'll got planned for us uh, next. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the moon? Huh? Wait, wait for me. I might I wanna go with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is that, then I will see you there. All the anyway. Not not that anyone cares, but I, I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen there as I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get out of my mind. And it looks like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she, she's right. But still, I kind of know, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Woo! That was a long... Long. They got me reading a lot. Or is that the exit? Over there? Or is it somewhere else? Holy cow! What's with this huge metal clunk? It looks like it's some kind of... It looks like the kind of thing you see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before. I think I read that already. I'm trying to figure out how to get the hell up out of here. Oh, B, right? Yes. Let's go. Alright. He said the, the gym, right? Which was down here, I believe. Hey, come on! God! I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent at Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Um. And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't, isn't that like seriously not good? They're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Shit. Well, hell. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey! Where's whoever called us? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well then. I too shall go. <coughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press Y to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what, uh, what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Okay, so we got the TV, door, these people. Um, there's somebody behind her? Oh no, that statue. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? 
So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Okay, so that's the same thing, all right. Okay, let's let's talk to the, uh, the individuals. Kiyoka, Kiyoko. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Alright, so nothing new from them. Same stuff. This school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for one for that weird uh, school broadcast, could they? Still filled with uneasy dread. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting there for us. Oh! It really looks like an entrance, uh, like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told ya! It's totally normal. It's a totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good, then let's get things rolling. All right, cut scene. What's about to happen? Oh, a bear. A black and white bear. Huh? Uh Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. You look like it. I am Monokuma! Monokuma. And I am this school's headmaster. Interesting. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What was I seeing? It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Hey, what? what? That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And I'm your headmaster. Say what? What? It moved? Dude, shit. Seriously, man. Calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you? Compare me to a child's plaything. You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or comprehend it. Barrett! Ah! But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Bear, that, really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving along, we really must hurry and get started. Hmm. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Hmm. He has abandoned the gag. Everyone, stand at attention and bow, and good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Now then. 
Now then, let's commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about your school life here will be, or about what your school life here will be. Now, ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will live a communal life together solely with the confines of the within the confinements of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, uh, now then, regarding the end dates of the communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you will all be here until you die. Yikes. Such is the school life you've been assigned. What? What? What did you just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh! But fear not. We have quite an abundant... <laughs> an abundant budget so you won't lack for all the common convenience hold on a second that's the least of our worries right now mm. yeah what the hell you're saying i have to live here forever you're screwing with us right i am not screwing with you i am no liar of that you can be 100 percent sure uh -huh. ah and just for your information, you've completely cut off. You're completely cut off from the outside world. That explains the, 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 the windows. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all the metal plates all over the school? They're to keep us trapped here? That's exactly what they're for. <laughs> this man tripping. No matter how much you may yell and scream, help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live your life out here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. C come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whatever else is beyond it at all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah. Cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep telling, you keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you going to do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught in doubts of your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to figure that out. Uh, figure out whatever or not what I say is true and then that time comes you will see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth Most unfortunate. having to live here forever would be quite the problem What's this? come on now what's the matter with all of you you decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those who would like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That my students in the graduation class... What? What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know.
If one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst possible way. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope into taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other? It's to kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We, we know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? Oh, he blabbering. mad. Blabbering, blabbering. He mad. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over. Oh. I was in the wrong voice. Let's rewind that. Let us go. Let us go. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen. From this moment. Oh, I was in the right voice. I was in the right place. Wow. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead. Go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right. Come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hero aside... Mundo placed himself in front of Maku uh, Monokumo, Monokuma, his voice ram rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. ah! Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sounds of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokumo fast and straight as a bullet. He locked on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or... Whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? <laughs> Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it. What? No smartass comeback this time? 
Sound like a bomb's about to Piece go. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what. But without a word, he did what she what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as he did, the hell? What the? That that sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ear, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen at all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's the real, when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything what? like it. But you know, this means the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokumo. Oh, there's another one. D damn you! You son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course. Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school's regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey. So this means there's like a bunch more of you around here somewhere. Yep. Monokumos have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well... You all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? That is not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate our joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, right? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Uh -huh. Yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will, dis it will display your name Always make sure you have the right one. Now that it now this is not your everyday notebook. It was so it was so it has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It keeps ticking. <laughs> and thanks to its space edge age design, it can withstand any impact up to 10 tons very resistant it contains all of our school regulations so make sure you review them thoroughly you guys you will hear me say this a lot but any violation of school of school regulations will not be tolerated Shing. rules restrict yes but they're also protect society for example would be utter chaos without yes, laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony Bye -bye. to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dairy school life and see ya. And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. <laughs> 